Alright, what is up guys? Professor Akali here bringing you a new video of Akali versus Brand in our journey to becoming the you know, world record holder of the most uh, games won in a row without losing a single game on a new Smurf. Guys, we are going to be uh, doing a unranked challenger for those of you who didn't already know on this account and we are also going to be reattempting the challenge in which we try to get the most oh my god, missed that. The most kills without a single loss on a new account which Last time we got to 45, 48, and the record was like 55, which is pretty pretty sad. Very, very sad, actually, but it's all good. We're going to make it happen this time, hopefully. So, yeah, let's get right into this. We're going against a brand. Uh, damn, barely missed that one. Uh, we're going against a brand, and their team comp is looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. Uh, they have just a bunch of meta champions, a bunch of really oppressive champions. Darius, Kai'Sa, Pike. Brand is pretty much the weakest champion tier list uh, on their entire team, so that's cool. Maybe we can get fed off of him. Uh, so we are going to be just playing as aggressive as physically possible, I suppose. Um, once I hit level 3, I need one point in each spell, though, minimum, before we actually do anything too crazy. It looks like Xin Zhao is going to be just pathing through. He's not going to be trying to kill us or anything, which is beautiful. And we can actually just start playing aggressive now. We are level 3. Not really, I don't really care if I miss that, to be honest. I just want to get further away from these minions. I'm willing to use my E, which has a 15 second cooldown to do so. 16 second cooldown. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to farm this out. And once our cooldowns back up, our W and Q coming, or our W and E coming up at the same time. You could get that. I don't know why you... Oh man, it's a little too late now, but... He had it, he had it. That could hurt a lot. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Beautiful. His passive screwed him. Oh, we got that! Oh my god, can I get this one too? Damn it, I was doing so well! Nice. My E was down? Oh, that was supposed to be good. Dude, we're derping really hard here. It's like we're, we're two noobs dancing back and forth. This is just embarrassing. But you know what? He missed two spells and I only missed one. So, it's worth. In terms of uh, embarrassment value, he, he got the, the, the weekend of that deal. Okay, now we're even. Uh, I can't be missing anything anymore. If I can't hit him with another, uh, with an auto Q, then I'll just hit him with a Q at least. Gotta be poking him out. Uh, he is running very low on mana, which is beautiful. He does have Corrupting Potion though, and I think, yeah, he has no stacks up, so it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and try to throw the E once he, yeah, nice. I figured he would try to W me right there. And that's a good point, because he stops for half his, like, even a millisecond if he stops to cast it, so it is enough. Let's go ahead and... We're getting used to just max range queuing. Okay, I mean, I take the better trade, though. Like, you use flash and you lose a minion wave, and that's the difference between me dying and you dying, so... Good for him. Uh, he should have known that because he was counting. There's no way he was counting on just the stun killing me. He knew it, was, it would take his living bomb to kill me. No matter how you try to justify it, that was a bad trade by him. Uh, absolutely terrible trade, which is awesome for us. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a very good trade for us, actually, uh, because now we have a slight EXP lead. We have our bilge water. We're both going back to lane with the same amount of damn or same amount of gold, pretty much. Except for I have more CS. Uh, and he, the difference is he's screwed because he has no flash against a level six Akali. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna regret that, son. You're gonna regret that. All right, and now I just need a little bit of energy, and I'm gonna kill him. I might actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna just take this wave out. I want to take this cannon wave. I think. And actually, pro tip, in case, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but your Q, if you're right next to a minion but that's behind you, you Q, and it actually does kill them too with the Q. Uh, interestingly enough, oh, come on, oh, come on. Right, now I gotta wait a second for the for the burn to go away, and now I can just do this. Let's, let's, do, let's do it. That's cool. That's really cool. That's cool. That's, that's nice. That's real nice. Level. Oh, 
Your jungler's actually here. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and just turn into this corner and then queue this to heal up a bit. 54 healing. That's about as much as we can do. Zin level 5 can't do anything though, uh, solo. So we don't have to worry too much about him. But I guess Skarner has to be worried. I also have to be a little worried here. Please don't be in there. Okay, we're good. And now he's getting lower and lower mana. He doesn't have Corrupting Potion stacks, so we should be fine. He's gonna recall. That was an incredibly FML fail right there. Whew, and no more AoE nonsense from Brand. Actually, Brand's making this a little more difficult. And you know what? I don't even think it's Brand making this lane more difficult, but it's pretty much just me being, uh, just making a few crazy big mistakes. Like, that ult flash was just the biggest waste of my life. Okay, you're a literal piece of garbage. I hate you. I hate you, MF. Okay. Stop to recall to steal the cannon. Eh, I would do the same thing. Who am I kidding? Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and go back. Pick up Hextech, uh, or at least one Amptome and a potion, probably. Potion, and you know, we'll, we'll take the boots just because there's really nothing else we can get. Don't want to go long sword because it just doesn't make sense. There's no more long swords we need in this game. We got the bilge water. Not going to be going AD most likely unless they suddenly all build negatrons. So yeah, let's go back into this. 53 CS to his 35. Ult's about to be back up. And it's time to make some good plays. I wasn't sure if it would kill because of that uh, little null magic fine. No magic, something whatever his rune is that makes him have a little bit of a hex drinker type thing. What is it called? No magic fine orb. Oh, dude, that, my English is so bad. Born and raised in America. Doesn't know English. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, let's continue on. <laughs> okay, on my way. Don't need to be there. Unless he runs. Yeah, this could be. This could potentially be good. And I've got that insurance. Never mind. I was gonna say, uh, I can just run right through. I was gonna drop a ward over to see if he's under the turret recalling. And if he is, I got that insurance that I won't die to the turret because it's Shroud OP. Because of two simple words, Shroud OP. And now we have the doubles. This guy is so screwed. It's okay. He is getting the best of me, but only because I'm playing uh, too impatient. That's that's pretty much all it is. a little safe for now. He's actually a pretty good brand player. I gotta give him credit. I have not seen anything like an actual good brand player in my life because just kind of just like an oxymoron. Alright. I'm not gonna die to this. Uh, but we do have to go back because we are... Yeah, the Zin Zhao's. He sees it. He sees it. I would honestly probably go to the second turret because I have seen Zin's capable of invading to make crazy plays and it wouldn't put it past him to go ahead and just dive us like that so let's just go ahead and pick this up we already have the tier one boots which is beautiful so i guess we just pick up one potion and be happy just in case we do get in like a a really close 2 hp fight uh see so yeah, let's go back into this Xin Zhao two and two darius one and one they have one kill on their ap two kills on their ad they have double AP though. It looks like Kaisa is might actually we we can't tell yet what Kaisa's going. She might go Storm Razors and tape. I have no clue. We'll see. Let's give it a little bit of time. We don't even have to consider building uh ooh, too much defensive stats yet. Probably gonna go Sword Boots this game. Bye bye. Okay.
game over. <laughs> that is uh, that is the end of this game. That is honestly the end of this game. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's twelve to four, and I can, you can kind of tell by the way a game is going, like at the right pace. Like the jungler just heads in way too late. Like he doesn't know what he's doing clearly, so you can't count on the Xin Zhao to make any crazy plays that'll get a team back into it. Darius clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, it, it's it's guaranteed to be a win, I'd say. Like 99% sure. <laughs> Why? Why do I keep doing these stupid things? Gotta take the game more seriously. I think that's what it is. We're just forcing them to, to go mid and then we just try to take them on low low HP. Dive them, dive them, dive them. Um, let's see. Uh, they don't have... They have one Merc Treads as an MR item. I feel like this is a Lich Bane game. Like, I don't see why not. I really don't. We could we could have gone for Magi's, we just don't have enough gold yet. Um, I would have honestly probably gone for Magi's this game. Because of the way that it's going. It seems like our Shroud is all we need to be defensive. Like, Sure, the Zonius would be nice, potentially, but it seems like we're either going to die to their comp or we're going to destroy them. It doesn't seem to be like a 2 HP type of game, if that makes sense. It's kind of just like going off the field of the pace of the game. Plus different comps can do different things. Their, their team comp seems to be like... They get on top of you and that you're for sure gonna die, or you just pick them off because they're all squishy. Alright. And while Brand does that, I'm gonna keep going mid. And there is nothing wrong with doing this, by the way. Like, you don't need to help your team. Kled can ping for assistance, but at the end of the day, we're getting a tier 2 mid. That's worth his life and the tier uh, tier 1 top lane. Might tilt him a little bit. And if he rage quits, it's not worth, but other than that, it's completely worth it can't really go off of if they're going to rage quit as a factor. Uh, okay. Ooh, Pike. How you doing, Pike? You guys are doing pretty good, huh? Not so bad as anymore, huh? Unlucky. 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 Whoa. Okay, no, no, you could have kept going. Like, I would, have, I would have gone with you. That would have been fun. We could have had a good time. Now I'm not gonna do that because they're missing. We can take on, please, pressure bot. I need you guys to send them away, or at least if they do send five mid, it's just free turrets for my team. A colleague can't take turrets that quickly, so it's just better if they are wide open, just auto attacking these to death. Okay, nice. So, Zinja was actually on a killing spree, what? Okay, not anymore though. That's all good. Let's just go ahead and take this out. Boom. Grab all these minions. Ah, come on. I don't knew. I did not use a freaking pink. I must have, but. Tilter, tilter. You know what? If MF gets this, then I guess it's all good. Yeah, she's gonna get it, please. Nice. Okay, so I mean, it's all going according to plan, except for the the over aggressive dive right there. Man, See, this is like this is not optimal, but it's definitely more than good enough to win the game. The amount of like pressure versus feeding we're doing. But with that said, you can always be cleaner. So what we're going to focus on, the question is, do we go for the red buff, or do we let the troll Kled with Electrocute and BF Sword go for it? The answer is we're going to take it. Okay guys, I'm going to take red and go bot, try to take rift and top. I, want, I really want them to at least pressure something a little bit. You can actually get two uh, Lich Bane procs as well, uh, using your E, the beginning of it and the end. Go ahead and 
this little, little red plant right here. No, no, no. This is, uh... This should be good for us. I, I think they might have used some spells. There's some of their cooldowns. Please, please tell me that they're gonna just all die to me. This is a, either an int or it's OP. My ult. Yay! <laughs> and Darius is nowhere to be found. No Timo mushrooms, right? No Nidalee traps. No, no Jin traps. We're good. We're good. Okay. Please. Uh, the no one's listening. They never really do, to be honest. Ever in in uh, anything lower than like diamond, but <laughs> it would be nice. That's for sure. We probably could have taken at least. Another top lane and mid lane turret. Really though. That's cool. That's cool. I did not get the escape I wanted. I eat a minion and then it actually followed me. I was hoping to get a little bit more room between myself and them. Maybe one shot one of them and then back out. But that was a, that was um. You know what, for this video, for this game, if they're not going to build any MR, they're like he's literally building armor, I'm going to be going for as much a, uh, burst as possible. Uh, we'll go for the ultimate, just true damage, m magic, AP one shot build. Beautiful, never mind, I thought they stole it. I don't know who has the part about, is that the cannon support, that's 7 and 0. I'm sorry. Yeah, 7 and 0 now. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't actually know we had one of those. Uh, they're all dead. I have, I have ult and I have flash. Oh, that missed. Okay. Sloppy, 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 sloppy. Debating my life right now. <laughs> this should not be happening. Akoli has the outplay potential to do 1v5s. But that was just... That was just too... That was just dumb. I just ran past, took a bunch of damage just to kill Bran. What I should have done is backed out and focused on Darius and Xin Zhao, not go for the guaranteed kill. I could have gone for much more than that. I Instead of going for the 2v1, I went for the guaranteed 1 for 1. Not that I regret that. So let's go ahead and just go back into this now. We do have a uh, blue elixir now, so I guess bot lane might be the way to go, just because it's guaranteed to, we're guaranteed to just smack, destroy turrets now. Do we have, and no, we don't have any dragons, no mountain drakes or anything, but... I think Lichbane and Blue Elixir will be enough, especially since this turret's already low. And once I'm on the inhib turret, they have to respect it. Whoops, I thought I had it in my EIP. Uh, but yeah, once I'm on the inhib turret, which is right after we destroy this, um, they have to respect my split push and just send someone to deal with me. Otherwise, we, you know, we for sure do get the Baron. And if they go for a Baron, then we get the inhib for sure. But yeah, once we're on the inhib, we have nothing but good options. Unless they all die for no reason, then things might go wrong. But I'm not gonna let them take Baron. I will be killing them all. I'm not gonna, oh shit. That's freaking fantastic. Oh yeah, I saw I saw them doing they're all I thought they were all at Baron. They played it so well. I really do need armor, don't I? Like that. I think with the zones, I could have just lived through that queued once, and just started out playing it with my shroud. But I guess we didn't take him seriously enough. Go, go, go! The cavalry has arrived. Why didn't you smite? Why didn't you consider even smiting that? 
He did smite. I think he smited a champion though. Well then. And then Kled is a little bit off the boards. Oh no. This is so sad to watch. We had a very high potential to make something crazy happen. It's okay. I think we're still gonna take uh, mid in him. Pike just came up. The two main people I'm worried about are down, and I think with my shroud up, I can just one v three dive them. This is going to be the last aggressive play I make. If this fails, I'm going to be just hiding. Please kill, kill. Okay, all right. It could have gone worse. Uh, honestly, that was not, that was actually almost worth. No, no, it was worth. Uh, we got a kill plus a shutdown gold, and they got a kill plus two assists, which on a, on me would probably be worth like a third of what I just got. So that was actually worth. Not bad, not bad. Um, but I, dude, I need a, I need Zonia's like right now. I should have had it ten minutes ago. Just didn't respect them enough to get the armor build started. The 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 guaranteed to work build. But this build can't do good against th that kind of stuff. Just one shot everyone. Anyways. Um, it's kind of like with this build, we are, so, we're like, oh my god, what is this guy doing? This guy's literally bronze five. Is he actually though? 41 CS at 23 minutes with a essence reaver, a zeal, and a, and then, oh man. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's fine. Nice. I'm actually gonna give that one up. I wanna save the energy so I can push faster. Understood. I'm gonna start this build up though. It, it's too late for me to save that probably. It's either this wave or they they don't get it yet. Yeah, see they would have gotten it no matter what. But I can meet up. I don't know, even if I was there, I don't know if we could have stopped it. We don't have anything to catch them with. We have a little bit of poke, but that's it. as much as I could and it was enough it was clearly enough 17 and 8 oh no you're gonna die too dude look buddy I know you're trying your best Clyde, but you know at some point you gotta realize you just are completely worthless as a teammate at that, that time to realize it's not now though uh crazy even with that magic pen it's just we're not doing that much to Darius I guess we have to just Go Zonia's into a into a Void Staff. Just get as much Magic Pen as physically possible. I mean, at that point, we will literally be doing true damage to Kai'Sa, Pike, and Brand. But that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Plus the Lich Bane, plus all the AP we get from this build. It's going to be a good time. I don't think there's any uh, getting that blue buff. I'm pretty sure it's just gone because they Scarner didn't seem interested. So I'm just not going to path over there. I'm just going to go bot. Old sign for 15, which is a little unfortunate because I could potentially catch Kaisa on the rotation to Dragon. Or not, she's used her dash. Why? Why'd you do that? Hell yeah, please use all your spells. Okay, so this is good. This is something that is uh, highly abusable. They, they make some crazy, crazy mistakes. And they also blow their cooldown. So if we can just catch them bot, or cat, we need to, I think, just roam around maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it go, everything goes in the next few minutes. But that might be a good idea. I'm not exactly sure yet. We'll see how they play it. 
Baron's up in two minutes. I'm going to keep going. Blue buff would be really useful here, especially since we're in late game. It's not going to be up, though. I'm going to have to take this wave and go back because there's just no one here to help me. Just enough gold for Arizonians. I'm happy. Very happy that all this happened because we are going to finally have a build I'm comfortable with just 1v3 and 1v5ing with. And that is the... We jump in, we have some armor, we have Zonias just in case, and a Shroud. We're gonna try and one-shot them with the Lich Bane, the Magic Pen, one-shot the Squishy, and then just run away from the the tanky people, because, you know, they're tanky, they're, they're not supposed to do that much damage anyways. Looks like they are doing the same thing again. Damn it! She went. Uh, she, they're all. They're going to group. No, <laughs> no. The free low. Bane. Yeah. No. Dire Darius is here. Get out of here, dude. Troll. Four people or five people are here. Take it, just take it. I wanted to actually not fight. <laughs> I really didn't want to fight, actually, um, but it is what it is. Uh, we killed two. We killed Botwing again, so it's not terrible, right? We did give up a bounty, but you know what? Got the turret. We're going to get this one. It it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, back out. We will be actually 4v5ing this again. This Kled, I would never consider this Kled a teammate, uh, considering he has 47 CS 30 minutes in. If anything, I would say he's working for the enemy team, but... You know, we don't have any proof on that. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Got the blue elixir, and I think... I think it's time to get that void staff once and for all. I want to potentially head over to help my team. Uh, top... No, top is down. Hold on. Wait a sec, guys. Uh, please don't die. I'm gonna show bot they will attack you. They're gonna attack my team once once they see I'm bot lane. They're gonna be like, oh, it's 4v5, boom, 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 going. Then my team might, yeah, we don't want them to die. We don't want them to die. Let's go. Top is pushing, just stay, stay near, don't die. This is perfect. They couldn't do Baron in time. They couldn't start it. Top is pushing. They're gonna send one to three people bot lane, and then my team can take Baron. This is this is gonna be perfect. I wonder how many they're gonna send to me though. That is what I'm curious about. Okay, so there's Darius. <laughs> cool, we can 1v3. Who would have guessed? Uh, the most broken champion of the past three years can actually 1v3 still at 30 minutes. Cool. That's gonna be really useful. I'll make this game a hundred times easier. This is that was that's actually very unexpected considering it's not like we've been smashing this game. This has been a very difficult game. One Lich Bane proc, two Lich Bane proc. I don't want to get the CS. Dude, top is actually pushing heavy too. Dude, wait, can we win? I think I can just open the base. I'm going to open the base up. Hold on. Can we win this? Oh 
What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I do that? Minions, attack! I'm pinging the base for a reason! Oh my god, yes! We won, holy crap, okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths. The world record dream continues. I can't say if it was well deserved or not. We played the late game very well, but we played the early game completely garbage like. Um, but, you know, considering all things, considering all things, I think we did pretty good. I mean, honestly, early game was kind of because we didn't build properly. We did do 50k damage compared to uh, our 80 carries, 18. Their brand did really well, 30k damage, but it wasn't enough, and we won. Okay, good, good. So happy to see that. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video, please subscribe if you're new, if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in a new one. Peace.